<laughs> what's up monarchs i am divine thank you so much for your time and i'm so grateful that we have a line welcome and welcome back to the monarchy what's up to all my new subscribers this is the last few messages for the prophetic messages this week ish um i do the prophetic messages by tribe okay the 12 tribes tribes of israel if you want to know what tribe you're in i do have a post in the community tab where i talk about where i give the scriptures and a little bit of revelation that god gave me about how to know which tribe you're in okay so take that to the lord and allow him to minister to you and reveal to you what tribe you are in as well as uh, the seven spirits of god okay god gives me these messages through the perspective or the lens of the seven spirits of god okay in, in regards to what he's working on or what he's testing or what he's developing or what he's healing right for whatever tribe for that particular spirit okay and those the seven spirits of god are also listed in isaiah and i think i i believe i have a post in the community tab about that as well okay so let's get into it so i give i have the tribe and then i have the spirit and then i have the song and then i have the scriptures okay all along and they all go together to make up the word <laughs> okay so for this this is for the tribe of ephraim i believe that's how you say that i've been saying it like that for forever so hopefully it is the tribe of ephraim okay and the song that i got for this tribe was truth behind scars by alex jean okay and this is a uh i was about to say gospel song well it's not a gospel song but it is a christian song right <laughs> so if you know you're one of those people who god has instructed you not to li listen to or guided you not to listen to um secular music then this is a song that you can go listen to because i always say if god told you not to listen to secular music don't go listen to these songs just because i give it to you in a prophetic word you can look at the lyrics or whatever it is however god tells you to do it but don't be like that prophet in the bible who disobeyed god just because another prophet told him to do something else okay so this is the tribe of ephraim like i said and the spirit that the lord gave me was if you see the light change it's because the tv is playing anyways the spirit of counsel okay and like i said the song is truth behind scars the scripture is john 8 32 okay and i'm going to read the scripture first so the guys can loop it in with the message so i can loop it in with the message so john 8 32 and you will know the truth and the truth will set you free okay and so the lord is saying that there are scars there are let's first break the word like what is a scar right a scar when you have a wound when you have a cut right it's once it becomes a scar it's no longer open right it's something that has closed it's something that has healed in a physical sense right but we're not just talking about physically here obviously this is a prophetic word so we're talking about spiritually right we ask the lord to give us eyes to see and ears to hear in the spirit so please do that as well when you're listening to prophetic words because you don't want to just hear what i'm saying and listen to what i'm saying with your flesh ears right you want to hear what i'm saying in the spirit as well so when you have a scar in physically when it closes right it, it has healed but the lord is saying just spiritually that doesn't mean that it's healed emotionally it doesn't mean that it's healed mentally it doesn't mean that it's healed and the only way that you can truly heal is through truth right by being truthful about about the scar being truthful about how you got the scar being truthful about how the scar affected you right and that kind of is what the message is in the song by alex sheen where he's talking about how god really revealed to him the truth behind his scars the truth behind why he was depressed the truth behind why he he would he didn't have confidence right the truth behind and that is why the spirit of counsel is the focus here because this is god really talking to you right this is that intimacy with god right when you really see sit in a secret place and you really sit down and you really start to have that close relationship with god and not even when you don't right when you start to not even you don't have to have a close relationship with god because you can lead up to having a really close intimate relationship with god but it starts with you trying right and the lord is saying that when you have 
truth, right? One of my favorite, one of my favorite sayings is the truth is the only safe ground to stand upon, right? I believe that wholeheartedly, right? You cannot stand on anything else but the truth, right? Everything else is going to fall because everything else is futile other than the truth, right? And so that's why Jesus said in the Bible, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to me except through you know no man comes to the father except through me right the truth is the truth is the truth it doesn't matter what century it is it doesn't matter what decade it is it doesn't matter what day it doesn't matter who's saying it it's the truth regardless right and so the lord is saying in that intimacy and in that conversation with him right talk to god don't just make prayer about what you are saying to god because prayer is a communion right? Prayer is you talking to God and then you allowing God to speak back to you, right? Don't just speak to God and be like, okay, I'm done. Prayer over. No. Allow, sit, there, sit there and allow the Lord, the Holy Spirit to impart upon you what he's saying in his heart, right? Well, what, what does he have on his mind for you or about you or to you or with you? right and that's how the truth behind what's going on in your life and in the scars that you have acquired throughout your life right because we're not going to go through life without any hurt we're not going the bible even tells us right we are supposed to have strength and we're well, not supposed to have but god gives us strength and patience through long suffering right especially when you are in the body of christ right and so we are going to have scars we're going to have tribulations we're going to have trials and the lord is saying come to him and speak to him talk to him right he and he will not only that but he will send you wise counsel right to to reveal the truth about what's really going on in your life and and how to heal from the scars that you have from the wounds that you have okay and not only that but the Lord also wants you to recognize that when you know the truth and you're able to heal from it, you're able to then help other people too, right? You're able to help the other, other people reveal the truth about their scars and about themselves and about what's going on in their life as well. So it's not just about you, right? Your healing is a ripple effect, right? When you heal, you heal people around you. You heal your friends, you heal your family, right? You heal your bloodline, you heal your future children or your children, you heal their children's children, right? It's a ripple effect and it all comes from truth, right? You shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. It sets your mind free, your heart free, your spirit free, your bloodline free. When you know the truth but you can only know the truth if you come and you are vulnerable with god right one of the most dishonorable and disrespectful things you can do to god is go to him and speak to him as if you don't know that he already knows <laughs> right so if you go to god and you're mad about something you're hurt about something and you feel like it's god's fault you go to god and you're like god you know i know it's, it's your plan you know, whatever your plan is, I'll do it, you know, have your way, Lord. That's, that's disingenuous, right? God knows you're mad. God knows you're not telling the truth, <laughs> right? And so how can he give you truth if you're not giving him truth? How, how can he help heal you if you're not giving him what's real? If you're not telling him what's real, if you're not being vulnerable with him, right? You don't have to speak to God. And I know this is something that the church is like, it's all formal and, you know is serious and no think about he's your father right and if you have a good relationship with your father do you have to go and put on a mask when you talk to your father do you have to be like oh art thou father in heaven name no <laughs> you don't you don't have to it doesn't have to always be like that you can be honest with god you can be real you can be vulnerable if not with anybody else because god literally knows everything already right you can go and tell your mom the truth. You can go and tell your best friend the truth. And they don't know everything. So why not tell God the truth? So that he can tell you the truth, right? And he can only tell you the truth. But it's one thing about him revealing the truth to you and him not being able to because you're not being honest. You have to be honest. You have to be truthful in order for you to truly heal. And for that scar to not just physically heal, but mentally, emotionally, and spiritually heal as well, right? And that is the power of that spirit of counsel. And like I said, it's not just counsel from the Lord. The Lord will send you a people too, right? It's a wise counsel to minister to you, right? And also help you to reveal that truth, such as prophetic voices, right? 
but there's no counsel greater than the counsel from God, right? There's no counsel, there's no conversation that is more revealing and that is more enlightening than you being able to sit down with God yourself and hear what it is that he's saying to you about your own self, right? You're, you're on Instagram, you're checking everybody else's story. Go to God and ask God about your story. Ask God about what's going on with you. He will tell you. He will tell you. The Bible says, I do not, God says in the Bible, I do not do anything without telling my prophets first. Anything. Think about that. Anything. Not, I, I don't do some things, I don't do this, or I don't do this specific. No, God says, I don't do anything. There's, I don't move unless I tell the people who I know who are on the earth working for me. I don't, I tell them first. And then I do it. That's why the Bible also says, listen to the prophet and ye shall prosper right so i hope this helps i hope this heals don't forget to like comment share subscribe click the bell button if you want to know when i post more share the video if you know if this will help somebody else and i'll be back this